At long last, it looks like inflation is finally peaking. Inflation has now fallen to its lowest level in a year. Today's release of the monthly Consumer Price Index led to a collective sigh of relief from Main Street to Wall Street and at the White House. This morning, uh, we received some welcome news, in my view, and I think the view of most economists on the economic front. News that provides a reason for some optimism for the holiday season and, I would argue, for the year ahead. We learned last month's inflation rate came down, down more than experts expected. You see signs of this at the gas pump. Gas prices are now averaging about $3.41 a gallon in New Jersey, less than what we were paying a year ago. But even as inflation cools, prices for food and rent are still higher than last year. And consumer prices are still up more than 7% overall, over the past year. Still, this report could change the Federal Reserve's pace of interest rate increases. The Fed will give an update on that tomorrow. New Jersey's path to reducing greenhouse gases isn't without bumps along the way. One case in point, a proposed rule mandating businesses and schools replace gas boilers with electric ones. Business groups and others oppose the rule because the replacement costs would be expensive. So for now, the state has dropped the proposal, and that's got some clean energy advocates upset. There's a lot more to this story. You can find out more by reading my colleague Tom Johnson's report on njspotlightnews.org. Finally, an experimental skin cancer vaccine developed by Moderna showed promise in a clinical trial, reducing the possibility of recurrence or death in patients when combined with an immunotherapy drug made by New Jersey-based Merck. Moderna's vaccine is based on the same technology used in the COVID-19 vaccines. Now, here's a look at how the stock market closed today. I'm Rhonda Schapler, and those are your top business stories.